Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. The lowly servant here. Welcome to my channel. Today is January 29, 2023, the fourth Sunday in Ordinary Time. The first reading is from the book of Zephaniah. Seek the Lord, all you humble of the earth, who have observed his law. Seek justice, seek humility. Perhaps you may be sheltered on the day of the Lord's anger. But I will leave as a remnant in your midst, a people humble and lowly, who shall take refuge in the name of the Lord, the remnant of Israel. They shall do no wrong and speak no lies, nor shall there be found in their mouths a deceitful tongue. They shall pasture and catch their flocks with none to disturb them. Responsorial Psalm Blessed are the poor in spirit, the kingdom of heaven is theirs. The Lord keeps faith forever. Secures justice for the oppressed. Gives food to the hungry. The Lord sets captives free. Blessed are the poor in spirit, the kingdom of heaven is theirs. The Lord gives sight to the blind, the Lord raises up those who were bowed down. The Lord loves the just. The Lord protects strangers. Blessed are the poor in spirit, the kingdom of heaven is theirs. The fatherless and the widow the Lord sustains. But the way of the wicked he thwarts. The Lord shall reign forever. Your God, O Zion, through all generations. Alleluia. Blessed are the poor in spirit, the kingdom of heaven is theirs. The second reading is from the first letter of Paul to the Corinthians. Consider your own calling, brothers and sisters. Not many of you were wise by human standards. Not many were powerful. Not many were of noble birth. Rather, God chose the foolish of the world to shame the wise. And God chose the weak of the world to shame the strong. And God chose the lowly and despised of the world. Those who count for nothing. To reduce to nothing those who are something. So that no human being might boast before God. It is due to him that you are in Christ Jesus who became for us wisdom from God, as well as righteousness, sanctification, and redemption. So that, as it is written, whoever boasts, should boast in the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia! Rejoice and be glad. Your reward will be great in heaven. Alleluia, Alleluia! The Gospel according to Matthew When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he had sat down, his disciples came to him. He began to teach them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the land. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they insult you and persecute you and utter every kind of evil against you falsely because of me. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. Reflection Jesus lived every one of the blesseds. As you list them, Notice how he might have lived them himself. He was merciful, pure in heart, single-minded, a peacemaker. All the others find space in his life. Note them as you read the gospel and in your prayer. Jesus knew each of the Beatitudes from the inside out. He knew just where the blessing and presence of God may be found. <laughs>